Just take a look at the tall skyscrapers of Singapore's financial district towering over the Boat Key shop houses. This is the perfect place for snapping pictures, so enjoy the 360 degree views and drink in Boat Key's unique blend of traditional Asian values set against a modern and progressive backdrop. See how the shop houses form a charming contrast of Singapore's developing years against the skyline of a new Singapore. This truly is a uniquely Singapore sight. By the way, are you feeling hungry? Hawkers and their push carts used to line the riverbanks, selling local dishes that were cheap and delicious. A bowl of Teochew porridge cost only 10 cents. And better yet, side dishes were free of charge. Every day, the people who worked and lived at the river would eat at these push carts, sitting on little stools along the riverbanks. Perhaps that was how alfresco dining got its start in Singapore. Directly ahead is Cavanna Bridge. Completed in 1869 and named after Colonel Sir William Arthur Cavanagh, Singapore's last governor, it's Singapore's only suspension bridge to have retained its intricate original form. It was manufactured in Scotland, then shipped to Singapore yeah. later to be assembled. Unfortunately, the bridge was built too low, and boats had to wait for low tide before they could pass. So look out, and don't forget to duck as we cruise under the bridge. <laughs> Just kidding. Coming up on the other side of Cabinet Bridge, you'll see a group of little boys jumping into the river. Don't worry about jumping in to save them. They're mm. actually incredibly lifelike bronze sculptures showing the scene from the river's past. Oh, no, Children would stand and wave cheeky from the houses. Very often, they would take off all their clothes and jump in for a cool afternoon swim. Standing tall and majestic is the exclusive Fullerton Hotel, which blends the elegance of old world charm with every modern convenience. Built in 1928, lots of paper pushing went on behind the hotel's splendid columns before its glamorous makeover. Its facade is a masterpiece of neoclassical grandeur, which belies its much stuffier original occupants, the Chamber of Commerce offices and the General Post Office, from which mail was transported along the Singapore River to and from ships. Since the 1950s, this was also the site of many political campaign rallies, but even longer before that, that, it was occupied by Fort Fullerton, built to defend the town at the mouth of the Singapore River. This promontory to your right used to be home to the Mer Lion, Singapore's half-lion, half-fish icon. The Merlion stood guard here at the river mouth for 30 years before it was hauled by barge to its new home in the bay in 2002. As we make our way out into Marina Bay, you'll be able to see the Merlion for yourself and hear all about its story. Up next is Malayan Park, home of the original Malayan statue. To understand our unique national emblem with the lion head and fish body resting on a crest of waves, here's a quick history lesson. 
Singapore was originally known as the ancient city of Tamasic, which means sea town in Javanese. But according to legend recorded in the Malay annals, Prince Sang Nila Utama renamed it Singapura, meaning lion city in Sanskrit, after he spotted a lion on its shores. The lion's head represents the lion spotted by the legendary Sang Nila Utama, while its fish tail symbolizes Tamasic and Singapore's humble beginnings as a fishing village. Measuring 8.6 meters high and weighing 70 tons, the Malayan sits on reclaimed land looking out to sea. She attracts millions of visitors a year who make the trip to Malayan Park to photograph this world-famous icon at her new home right here in scenic Marina Bay. Take a peek behind the Malayan and you'll see a baby Malayan. Believe it or not, its scales are made from pieces of porcelain repurposed from spoons, bowls and plates. Next to the Malayan and her cub is a luxurious lifestyle dining and waterfront hotel hub known as the Fullerton Heritage that blends exciting futuristic projects with the older colonial landscape of Singapore. To your right is Clifford Pier, which was built in 1933 as a landing point for immigrants <coughs> hoping for a new future in a new land. It was also once known as Red Lamp Pier because legend has it that a red oil lamp used to hang from the pier as a comforting guide to weary seafarers. Mindful of its rich historical past as a bustling trading post and gathering place for food lovers and entertainers, Clifford Pier has been carefully conserved and now serves as the lobby of the Fullerton Bay Hotel. And beside it is Customs House, a charming conservation building from the late 1960s, which began as the Customs Harbour Branch Building, one of Singapore's earliest modern-style public buildings. As Singapore's shipping and trade boomed, it became the home of the Singapore Customs Police, tasked with watching over one of the world's busiest harbours. Further up, you'll see the magnificent Marina Bay Financial Centre, which sits on prime waterfront real estate at the heart of Singapore's new downtown and is an expansion of the Central Business District. Arguably the crown jewel of Marina Bay, this purpose-built financial centre combines the best in form and function, lending office towers, luxury apartments and retail space, making it one of the hottest places to live, play and work, as befitting Singapore's position as a global financial, residential and entertainment hub. It's also part of the three and a half kilometer Marina Bay waterfront promenade, which has become a popular scenic footpath, especially since this walkway boasts several unique design features. You can look forward to an uninterrupted experiential walk or jog around the bay. Do find time to explore the promenade, which links the landmarks of this beautiful bay area, including Marina Reservoir, Marina Barrage, and Gardens by the Bay. Also located along this fascinating waterfront walk is the Marina Bay City Gallery, which showcases the story of Singapore's urban transformation and the development of Marina Bay. Don't miss its touch-activated exhibits and innovative city model, offering a bird's-eye view of key landmarks in Marina Bay, which will help you navigate the Bay Area.
as we cruise around Marina Bay and begin making our way back down the Singapore River, have a look to your right at a Singapore landmark that really needs no introduction. It's the iconic Marina Bay Sands Integrated Resort, featuring the casino, hotels, and convention center, world-class entertainment and retail shops, all housed within award-winning architecture that resembles a ship atop of three towers. Notice also the palm-shaped Arts and Sciences Museum and the unique Felix Bridge. This 280-meter engineering marvel has been modeled after the structure of DNA and was inspired by the ancient